Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul and in this short game to come video are NVIDIA nerfing the performance of Pascal and cards such as the GTX 1080. It's a popular theory that's going around right now. After all, earlier this year, the company did launch the RTX 2080 Ti, which is currently the highest end SKU available in the GeForce lineup anyway, along with the RTX 2070, which is the lowest end SKU, and yes, we will be doing a full review of this with the review sample that we just got sent. We're going to be comparing it against the 1080 and other such cards. So the theory is that because of this, NVIDIA will be releasing driver revisions which slowly degrade the performance of Pascal. And so in this very video, we're going to be debunking that. How do we do this? Well, we take the 1080 that we have here, this is actually our own card, along with a GTX 1060. I feel that both of those SKUs represent a really good range of uh, budgets and also two of the more popular cards in the Pascal lineup. And we compare drivers from back in June of this year against drivers that have just been released earlier this month. We're going to take a look at a myriad of different benchmarks, including Gears of War, Forza, Batman Arkham Knight, and various other uh, applications too, and discover how the performance has changed over the past several months. We're going to begin by investigating our performance with graphs, and then we're going to switch to some gameplay, so you can look at the performance yourself in real time, and then we're going to come to some type of conclusion. Well, in terms of performance, there hasn't been any degradation at all. Yes, there are a couple of subtle changes between the results and different runs, but that is to be expected and is within margin of error. In fact, some games, for example, Forza and more modern titles, will actually pop up with an error message and tell you, are you really sure you want to run this game with the older drivers? Because you might get some graphical abnormalities. Which is to be expected, right? Because, well, older drivers, uh, there might be something in the game engine effects or what have you that just isn't properly supported. So, of course, uh, drivers resolve these issues. But in terms of raw performance, Pascal has not been nerfed. Whether we're looking at the GTX 1060 or the GTX 1080, the results are pretty much identical and fall within the margin of error. In fact, things are more complex because of the way NVIDIA's GPUs work. Because of GPU Boost 3.0, there is something to take into consideration. And that is that if your room is at a slightly different temperature, if you have, let's say, upgraded your case fan recently, if you have a poorer airflow because you've just added something into your case, or just a myriad of different other things, 
The fact of the matter is that the temperature of the GPU might fluctuate and therefore it might not quite sustain the same clock speed as it once did. Even uh, these results, they have been taken over a couple of different days and temperatures at the moment, because it's autumn here in the UK uh, right now, temperatures are fluctuating consistently. So obviously room temperatures are going down or up a couple of degrees, which probably do make a difference in the GPU. So all of this stuff, in other words, reflects real world normal performance and certainly is not a case of NVIDIA nerfing anything. But now let's take a look at some raw gameplay so you can draw some more conclusions for yourself. Ultimately, it does not make sense for NVIDIA to nerf the performance of Pascal. It's just too easy for people to test the results and compare it with one driver revision to another. And given there's millions of gamers right now, it just it has no merit in the real world. There's also another factor that possibly could play into some of your results being a little lower, and that is Spectre and Meltdown patches. Of course, these perform the task of securing your system, but also have the side effect of reducing the performance of your CPU. Not all systems are going to be drastically impacted by this, and let's say you're running a GTX 1080 and trying to game at 4K, you're probably tasking the GPU to the point where you're not really going to be impacted by the performance degradation because you're not uh, CPU bound here. But in max frame rates quite often, in situations where you're running at a lower resolution, there might be a slight performance drop off simply because of Spectre and Meltdown patches. So if you had it in your head that, hey, in this benchmark, I used to get this particular frame rate, but now I'm getting this particular frame rate, that could be one of the reasons. And of course, has nothing to do with the drivers themselves. With all of that said, hopefully you have found this video somewhat helpful or informative. If you have, you know what to do. You can click the like and subscribe, which would be greatly appreciated. 
But for now, I'm going to let you all go. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.